before we start this video, a large thank you to Andrew, Link, St. Sneed, Rodinio, 1977, two of these guys whom I cannot pronounce their names. If someone below could help me out with that, it would be greatly appreciated. Kyan Nightingale, and Vladimir Tikhonov. I appreciate your support, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, guys, and today we're going to keep working with our equipment system, and we're going to make the torso equipment. And we're also going to make a list of default equipment items. So let's say you don't equip a helmet or a torso. You're going to be like naked. So we're going to handle that as well in this episode. So if we hit play, as you can see, I've equipped the Fallen Knights helmet. And that was not the helmet I had on the startup. I don't know if you noticed that. You can see the difference there now. So we're going to do the same thing right now with our torso. So let's go to our equipment uh, folder, if you have one made. Let's create a new script. Let's call that Torso Equipment. Okay. Now let's open up the... Helmet equipment, and we'll get a reference point on what this is going to look like. It's going to be the exact same thing. So, as you can see here from our other equipment item, we just have our physical defense bonus. And this is what our equipment is deriving from. And then we have on our helmet equipment, we just actually have a model name, which references the model game object that we're going to basically enable on our player. So, I'm going to go ahead here, and I made it a folder, not a script. Okay, well, let's try it again. We're going to delete that. And there we go. So, let's copy the create asset menu name and let's paste it on our torso equipment which is now a script and not a folder and I'm just going to start by putting in my namespace which is SG and then it will stop complaining and will allow me to make an asset menu and I'm going to make the torso equipment derive from equipment item obviously and we'll be good to go we just need to erase the start and update functionality so this is going to behave the exact same way as the helmet equipment for now until we start adding in other things so let's just copy the string um, name we're going to change it to torso model name and that is it for now now in the future we can work on a, attaching things to this such as like capes and other little uh, odds and ends because sometimes chest plates have those things attached to them but for now we're just going to do it bare bones until we have the system established so likewise we're going to go to our player model and if you don't know where we have our helmets right now we actually have a script called helmet model changer okay so I'm going to rename the torsos on the player to male torsos and I'm going to create a script uh, called torso model changer and it will behave exactly like the helmet model changer for now but we need to have separate scripts because we're referencing individual equipment types like the torso the helmet the gloves the legs etc and in the future if we want to tweak any of these things and add some uh, extras to them we can so um, for example going to add you know elbow pads to your chest plates or capes or um, you know knee pads or extra things or attachments to your legs you get what I'm going. You get where I'm going with this. So let's uh, make a namespace SG again, and we're just going to erase the start and update function. And you can completely copy and paste everything right now from the helmet model changer. And we're just going to quickly go down through this and rename everything from helmet to torso. Now, uh, like I said, in the future we're going to add things to this too. Um, I'm going to put capes on the uh, or the ability to add capes and elbow pads to your chest plates. And then on our legs, we're going to be able to add knee pads or like hip attachments. Um, and for gloves, we'll have the little off and ends and stuff like that too. So we're going to add some more components to these model changers. But for now, uh, we're going to keep it all bare bones until the whole system is working and it's up and in running order. So let's just change everything. Every time you see the word helmet, just rename it and uh, change it to torso. And that will be the theme of this next little segment. That's all we're going to do. Just got these three down here now. Rename helmet name to torso name. And then helmet models down here to just torso models dot count, torso models dot name, and torso models dot set active is true. Okay, now pressing along. So as you can see so far it is exactly the same as the last video. And it will be until we get to the point where we're actually going to handle our loading naked model. So I'm going to quickly rename uh, chr torso to male underscore torso uh, 01 right up to the maximum number that there is I'm gonna cut the video for a second because this is just me copying and pasting text so there we go I'm back and that took a little while now let's go to male torsos and let's make sure that we're loading in our torsos on startup so I'm just gonna hit play and the list should populate and yes it does okay so so far so good we are on track it's fetching the list of every model torso we have on this character so Next, let's change this to torso equipment when we're actually making the new equipment item. We want to have the name uh, not the same as the other one. And now over in our player equipment manager, let's actually call our torso um, model changer. 
going to call that torso model changer. And again, we can call that on awake. So let's put it right below here in the helmet model changer. We're just going to say torso model changer equals get component in children, torso model changer. Now, much like before too, on the start method, we're just going to call um, unequipping every torso and then re-equipping the torso that you have chosen from your inventory. So let's say torso model changer. Whoops, I used a capital T there, my bad. Torso model changer dot unequip all torso models. You know what, I'm just gonna make a private function for this too. We're gonna say private void. We're gonna say equip all equipment models on startup or on start. And let's just call that on start. Let's keep this code nice and neat and organized. Paste that in there. I was gonna say equipment or equip all models on start. And now in here, we're going to go and we're gonna say torso model changer dot equip model by name. And we're gonna call our player inventory dot current torso equipment dot torso model name. However, we don't have that made yet. So just give me a moment to also fill that in. So you're going to get an error here as you obviously know. Excellent, now let's open up our player inventory and let's copy this. Right click on here, player inventory. And we're gonna say go to definition. Right here under current equipment, we're gonna say public torso equipment. And then we're gonna say current torso equipment or you can paste whatever you had copied there. And let's save that. And there we go, no more error. And then let's minimize all this so it looks neater and it's not blocking our view. There we go, we'll save that. Now let's actually make the torso equipment. So under my equipment, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna create items, equipment, torso equipment. And I'm just gonna call this, uh, let's just call it Knight's chest plate. And I, what number was that default one? I think it's like 16, I wanna say. Let me check one moment. I'm just gonna double click here, 21, okay, so it was 21, so. I'm just gonna give this one the model name of 21 because that's the model it's going to load. But then the item name will be different. This will be the name displayed in the UI in the future. We're gonna say Knight's chest plate. And then I'm just going to copy uh, or duplicate rather the Knight's chest plate. I'm gonna call it, Fall it Fallen Knight's chest plate. And I'm gonna make this reference, we'll say number uh, 26, just so we can see a different chest plate load. Now, if I go into my player here and I click here and load the Knight's chest plate, as you can see, nothing will change because that's a chest that's already on. But now if I stop the game and I load the Fallen Knight's chest plate, as you can see, boom, there is a different chest plate. All right, cool. So now what happens if we take off both items? Well, I think right now we just get an error. But let's make it so if we do take off both items, we actually load the naked model of our character. So we're going to say, if player inventory dot current helmet equipment does not equal null, well, then we're going to say, okay, let's load the current helmet equipment model. Um, regardless, we're going to unequip all helmet models. So keep that outside of the if statement. Uh, and then we're going to say, if player inventory dot current torso equipment does not equal null, well, let's go ahead and load the current torso equipment. Uh, otherwise, we're going to load our default mesh. So that would be just your could be a naked body, it could be another equipment piece. Maybe you have a default equipment piece like shorts or a shirt, whatever you want. So we're gonna say else. Now there's multiple ways to do this, like so many different ways. So I'm gonna show you two. We're gonna handle one differently for the head, um, but first I'll show you what it look like if we didn't need to. So I'll, you'll get what I mean, just one second. So we're actually going to reference this with a string and it's very straightforward. So what we can do is we can actually go up to the top of the script. We can make a new header here and let's call this, what's a really straightforward name? Default, default naked. Yeah, default naked models. So these will be the default models you load if you don't have any equipment on. We can say public string, and we're gonna say uh, naked head model equals, actually, I'm just gonna keep it right there and we can write it ourselves. And we're gonna say public string naked torso model. And then we can just say naked legs, naked leg model and naked hand model for the next video, which we don't have made yet. But we're gonna do both of those um, simultaneously in the next video. Okay, so down here in the default head, what we can do, you could say helmet model changer 
dot equip helmet by name and then just pass off naked helmet or naked head uh, now here's where it's going to pose a problem for some people uh, I'll get to this in a second and then down here we could say um, torso model changer equip torso by name and just pass it naked torso name see the head is not in the same child game object set as the helmets okay now you can just move it in there you can drop and drag it in there and you sh it should be fine um, that should not pose a problem at all but let's say you want to do it a different way well that's very straightforward we can do that too but first let's fetch our torso so if we double click on our player here I believe the uh, closest thing to naked or it is naked actually is just torso number one so I'm just gonna double click it here I'm gonna just gonna go here and it's gonna disable or copy that name rather sorry and I'm gonna paste it in here so naked torso model is male torso 01 now as you can see if I take off the head the head here uh, the helmet sorry oh, I can't speak and then you put on this one it's just a mask it's just they're all helmets so um, what I'm gonna do is instead of referencing a name I'm just going to reference an actual game object and this can be useful when you're equipping hoods and stuff too because you can keep the helmet or your head on depending on what kind of helmet you're equipping so I'm just gonna say game object naked model and then by default now I'm just going to say uh, naked head model dot set active is true if we don't have any equipment on so what you could do is if you have if you classify a helm uh, a head equipment as a helmet or like a hood you could leave this on and if you classify it as a helmet you could turn it off so you can get a lot more creative this way we could say naked head model dot set active is equal to false every time we equip a helmet otherwise it is true and then we can just drag in uh, the game object of our player's head which with Sinti models, I believe there's just under male head all elements. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead here and leave him headless just to show you. And I'm just going to rename this to, I'm going to make sure this is heads first. Yeah, okay, there's a head. I'll just call this male heads. And then we can drag in the first game object here under our default um, male head. So let's go to our player models equipment manager and drag it in there. Naked head model. And now I'll leave him headless just to show you that this works because it'll turn it on by default regardless and let's actually unequip the um, the equipment in our players equipment slots okay and now when I hit play he should be shirtless and headless and there he is excellent cool so that works awesome now just to show you that the system is working fluidly too if we equip I'm gonna put his head back on because it's kind of freaking me out a little bit he doesn't have a head looks really weird kind of jarring so let's go ahead and just pick a random head here we go. I uh, no, you know what? I'm not feeling the plague doctor thing. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right. Now let's go back in the equipment, and I'm just going to throw on the um, the default or one of the knights' helmets and bodies. Let's go with the fallen knights' chest plate and the regular knights' helmet. And let's click play. And there you go, guys. We now have our chest equipment working, and we have a way to load our default naked models so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to drop a like it does genuinely help the video get around uh, helps my series out if you're feeling super generous leave a comment below and if you're feeling like a total champion check out my patreon below i will see you guys in the next video where we will cover our hand and leg equipment and we will further expand upon this system